you guys are still familiar with these equations. And uh, this is a pretty good examples to show how to write uh, equation in publications. So uh, in when you write a uh, equation in publications, you you should have three parts to you should you should write three parts. First, if uh, first we call it the introduction. So uh, this is this is part is before the equation main body, and uh, this part is to introduce like what kind of things you are going to introduce, what kind of equation you're going to write. And the second part is equation body plus equation number. So you should be able to uh, familiar, pretty much familiar with this two conception, right? Because we have learned it from the first uh, part of the section. And the third part is equation notes, just like, uh, ex which is, this part is to explain like what you have uh, right in the equation body and the number. So uh, for the introductions, uh, there's a couple of different ways to um, to to write when you introduce uh, equations. Uh, here are some general examples. Uh, for example, uh, equation what 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 is expressed as what 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 or the expression of what what equation is is write as follow maybe and what x x x is given by. So this is this one is uh, follow the example we just learned Navier stock equation example, and uh, what more is uh, uh, equation x is the what 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 or um, uh, like Navier stock equation is the equation of something which is shown as equation x. So for me, um, I think I I I prefer to the first. Uh, uh, example in the last example but all of them are very uh, useful and uh, you can choose whatever you like <clears throat> when you introduce the equations but uh, but but do remember to use this kind of equations before you write the equation okay next part is equation body plus equation number I think all of you have familiar with the uh, this part uh, so uh because we have uh, introduced uh, a lot of information about these two things on the first the section of the on the first part of sections and but here something i have to highlight first um uh, equation body and equation number should occur occur after int introduction with a new line so there's no blank line between them and uh, and you also have to start a new line when you start our equation body and uh, when you write them, equation body should sit in the center. Uh, sometimes, like we said, sometimes equation body uh, are aligned on the left. Uh, sometimes are sit in the center. That's based on the criterion from the uh, literature journal or your thesis requirement. But if there's no specific requirement, I would prefer or I would suggest you to put your equation body in the in the center. And uh, Equation number should align on the right side. That's universal for all the publications. And the equation number should have a sequence. And this for the for the manuscript or journal paper, the sequence should start from one to one, two, three, four, five. But if you are writing a thesis, you should you probably got a couple chapters, and in each chapter so you should have a, a new sequence. So your equation number should be informed like a chapter number plus a uh, equation number, and uh, you, we're gonna to learn later how to do that in the Microsoft world. And uh, the third part, uh, the last part, which is most important, just when you write equation, you're gonna use a lot of symbol, and uh, you try to use international symbol as much as possible. So here are some examples like uh, the name and the symbol. For example, lens. Usually, I use capital L, or sometimes use uh, L, and the mass is capital M. Time is T. Current is I. Temperature, whatever in Kelvin or in degree C, they use. You we usually use T. Mo is use uh, non capital N. I think it's non capital N, uh, not this one. And the light intensity is I capital I. And angle of the angle used alpha, beta, gamma. 
something like that. Frequency is F. Forces is capital F. Pressure, capital P. Energy, capital E. Power, capital P. Charge, capital Q. Capacity, uh, capital C. Resistance, capital R. Wavelength, lambda. Uh, heat flux is I. Voltage, V. Enthalpy, H. Entropy, S. So these are pretty much universal uh, name and their symbols. So <clears throat> if you have, for example, you, if you write an equation with energy, you should use E to stand for this number, name. All right, let's continue. So the last one is equation notes. Again, we have learned a lot of equation notes in the first of first part. So uh, if you forget those, I will suggest you to review your uh, yeah, review the first two lectures in the in the section. And uh, something very important to emphasize: first, equation notes uh, usually occurs after equation body and equation number with a new line. And uh, <clears throat> And no no space between the these two parts, but when you write a uh, uh start a new line, usually we have we have uh, indentations um for the most of the time. But please remember, there's no indentation between um between the uh equation note and the equation number. Uh, and third, uh equation notes usually start with where. So after where we start to explain or notes the symbol we use in the equation. Uh, but sometimes when you, again, like an uh, indentation, when you start a new line, we you really, the first letter W is capitalized. So please remember this W is not capitalized when you type it, all right? So next, includes all symbols in question, equations, but do not repeat. So, so I think I have emphasized this before. And so when you, when you you have to include all the symbol in the equation notes, but for those who has introduced, who has explained before the equation, um, you don't have to repeat to write to explain in your equation notes again. And the sequence of the symbol, yes. So the sequence of symbol usually come, uh, usually are first come first write, but sometimes like I said. Uh, you can also follow the alphabetic uh, sequence. Um, I think a first write, first come, first write is more preferable and the universal for most of the situation. Um, yeah, so that's it. And uh, in the next part of the of these lectures, we're gonna to learn um, uh, some small techniques that's how to write equation in a manuscript. So we will go back to the task <clears throat> task two and three like you just finished and uh so uh, i'm gonna to show you a very good uh, and uh, based on that we're gonna to learn how to uh we're gonna to we're gonna to do some practice and that will be your part of your task three so here we go hello everyone in this video, I will show you how Microsoft Word will insert automatically an equation number for each of the equations that we will edit in this document. So let's get into it. The first thing is to click on insert, then table, and we will create a table of three cells. And we want the first cell and the third cell to have approximately the same size now the second cell is where the equation will be and the third cell is where where the equation number will be okay so let's click on the second cell here and then go to insert and then click on equation right here now it creates a field where you can enter your equation we can do this later now what we're doing here is we're creating a template that we're going to use for the rest of this document. For the equation number, we click on the third cell. Then this time we're going to go to references and then we're going to select insert caption. All right. So 
since we're working with equations, we're going to go to label right here and we're going to change it to equation. Now make sure that exclude label for from caption is checked and then for numbering make sure that include chapter number is checked right here um, leave heading one and for use separator you can leave period click on ok then ok now you have the equation number right here so we're gonna select that copy it or cut it and then paste it where we want it to be now we're gonna get rid of this uh, table border by highlighting the table and then go to borders and then select no border so what we need to do now is to save this template so we're gonna highlight it and then go to insert or select insert and then on the equation there is an arrow here select that and then click on save selection to equation gallery once you do that you can name this template whatever you want so we can name it equation um, number template okay let me show you what I did right there so we can leave everything here as it is and we click on OK great so we have saved our template now so anytime we want to enter an equation in our document I can just come to the place where I want my equation and I would go right here under insert select the arrow right here and then scroll down as you see me doing here all the way to where you find your template so I'm gonna click on it so I can come here right Stop, click on it and then do C equal 2 pi is right here somewhere right here R okay and same thing I can enter my equation there I can just copy it from here and then paste it here and actually I want this to be centered so click on center now I can also just copy this part here and then paste it right here but in this case the equation number didn't get updated however if I go to select and select all I can just do update field now it says 1.3 okay and I can update my equation to whatever it is from here thank you very much for watching